Hey folks, this is Ardwolf. Welcome to episode 10 of our playthrough of Hearts of Iron 3 as Germany. And uh, as befitting the 10th episode, we are now at war with everyone. So we are going to assume nothing, and we will get our shit in the air. So what do we got here? We've got the fourth Jagdgeschwader here. So we'll give them a mission that will be air intercept. Nakoon. Uh, you know what? Let's do provinces. Can I select multiple provinces? No. Looks like no. Can I control select multiple provinces? Shift select. Ah, I can shift select multiple provinces. Excellent. All right. We're going to just fly during the day. And we're going to fly for a month. And we're going to be aggressive. So we need to give our... We're at speed one, right? We're at speed one. Very good. Okay, let's adjust our IC, first of all. Uh, we are wasting on consumer goods. Whew. Okay, good. All right, and we have laws that we can... National decisions available. We'll take Blitzkrieg. No reason not to take that right now. More efficient laws can be enacted. Okay, so the draft, we go to service by requirement. We got plenty of money for all this. Uh, for this, we go to total economic mobilization. That gives us a huge boost. We go to heavy inf industry emphasis. Now, it takes a bit of time for this to gear up. So, service by requirement, total economic mobilization, heavy industry emphasis. So, we're wasting quite a lot of IC right now. Uh, it takes a bit of time for that to gear up. So, let's... Uh, we have to make that adjustment. That's not something we want to dick with. Uh, but we have something like 49, 44 IC to create stuff with. So let's create a battleship. And it is going to be 1941 before it rolls off. So uh, let's create uh, another submarine. Fl I didn't just create. Uh, fucking three serial battleships, did I? I sure fucking did. Um, I'm not convinced that's a problem, actually. I think I'm okay with that. Um, so let's create uh, three parallel submarines. Let's start production on that. We're still way over here. 25 left. Um, let's create... Uh, another heavy armored. So we'll go with motorized, self propelled artillery. That's 39%. That looks great. Uh, we are going to run two and two. No, we're not. We're going to run two in serial. 344 days. That's a long time. Can we run two parallel? We can run two, but not three. We'll run two parallel. And this number is going to probably go up pretty significantly fairly soon. Okay, just to get that out of the way. Now, let's pay attention to what our Air Force is doing. We have the 4th Jagdgeschwader down here. Down here we have the 5th Jagdgeschwader, and we're going to put uh, some units on this, and we can do shift, 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 and we're going to run that in the day. We're going to run it for a month. We'll accept. Let's put the air mode on, because it's a lot easier to see this shit when you have the air mode on. Uh, you know what? Are these guys on air intercept? These guys are on air intercept. Uh, is that the only one there? It is. It's the only one there. The sixth Jagdgeschwader. Uh, this is the second Jagdgeschwader. We'll put him here. We'll put him on air intercept. We'll do provinces as well. During the day, for a month, this unit of interceptors, this unit of tactical bombers, really needs to rebase uh, down here. I think down there we'll rebase that. Kampfgeschwader, Jagdgeschwader. This Jagdgeschwader has no order. During the day, for a month. And 
This Jagdgeschwader has no... Uh, what do we got here? Naval bombers. Naval bombers. Naval strike. Alright. I have never used these before, so I have no freaking clue what I'm doing. We'll go here and do range radius. That looks good. Naval strike. And we'll go by day for a month. And here we have tactical bombers. We're going to float them over here. We'll rebase that. More tactical bombers. Beast them there. Do I actually have no? Oh yeah, we gotta. Okay, we'll fix this here. Do provinces. And we're going to do air superiority here. During the day. Close air support. We'll save those for the moment. We have the close air support guys up here. Uh, here in uh, Frankfurt, we probably have more guys than we need. This wing of interceptors. I'm going to rebase these guys up here. Send them east. Alright, now I want to make sure that all my air units have orders. The, this close air support does not have orders. So we're going to ground... Uh, no, not ground. We're going to... This is close air support, so we're going to do ground attack here. Attack with that. We're going to attack with that. We're going to attack here with this. We're going to attack here with this. And we're going to attack here with the armor. Uh, this remaining unit will stay there. Meanwhile, this guy attacks here. This guy attacks here. That guy moves in there. That was bad, badly planned on my part. Okay. Move this whole stack into here. And in the meantime, we'll attack there and there. And uh, these guys are in under air superiority. They will do close air support here. Uh, not continuous by day. That looks good. Let's give it an hour or two to get everybody up in the air. We are going to float the submarines out. We've got a naval map mode. Untersee Boots Flota. We go here. And we're going to do convoy rating. Convoy rating. Convoy rating. And I think that's all of the Untersee Boots Flotilla. Uh, we're going to send this unit out here to patrol. This unit out here to also patrol.
Okay, and then the reserve flotilla. Might as well send these guys out to patrol here. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to diplomacy away here. We're going to go to Italy and call to arms on Italy. And they will almost certainly accept the call to arms. Put us on speed two. They have honored our military alliance by... Whoa, let's check that out. Okay, so they are at war with France. That's what I'm concerned about. Now, I may be... I may be fucking them up by doing that, to be completely honest about it. Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. Keep that there. Keep that guy there. Move everybody else here. And in fact, this guy stays there too. Um, okay, so that looks fine. Move this heat attack with this here. What we got here? Uh, Select everybody but the HQ. Move them up. Attack with... Wait a minute. Attack with that. Okay, let's see what we got here. This needs to go up. This needs to go up. This is why I wish I had more infantry on the line. That attacks there. This goes here. This goes here. Actually, Keep the HQ where it's at. All right. So I've got four attacks going at Danzig, at however you pronounce this fucking place. Brodnica. And we need to get some more attacking going on down here. So down here, we can instantly move these guys up. Now this probably is a land fort. It is. Let's move those up. And then this is Katowice. It'd be nice if I had some armor. We'll move some armor down here. Alright, so we're moving. We're moving. We're going to naval map mode. Naval looks good. Air looks pretty good. Uh, do, do all of these have orders? These tactical bombers do not have orders. Uh, I'm going to fly these to rebase them over here for now. If they're, if they're not doing anything in the west. These interceptors are where? Uh, you know what? Let's cancel that. Um, Manchukuo is mobilizing. 
We'll put these guys on an air mission to do air intercept uh, in this general vicinity. Day. There we go. What do we got to come out? The turpets just came out. Wow, that was fast, actually. Um, we want to put that in keel, I guess. That's fine for now. Okay, we've got a lot going on here now. What do we have here? Because we have an opportunity. Great. I moved the rest of the fucking guy, uh, left the uh, rest of the fucking guys up there and moved the HQ down. Alright, so naval looks good. Let's take a look at air real quick. These interceptors are up here. We'll do... We'll do our superiority. So I think I'm going to end up uh, more or less annihilating the Polish Air Force pretty quickly here. Tactical uh, bombers with no orders. Let's tactical bomb the shit out of this place. Ground attacks. Um, ground attacks here, and we're gonna make we're gonna make an attack here. I don't know if that's gonna work, but those those leaders are fortress busters. So, these tactical bombers can make a fortress ground attack. Uh, you know what? We're going to ground attack there as well. These tactical bombers. Where are we attacking here? That's where we can attack. Um, Alright, we'll do the cone here because it makes a little more sense. Not quite that big. That's what I'm looking for. This is as close as I'm going to get anyway. Alright, so everybody's got stuff to do. Uh, we are not in any naval battles at the moment. However, we just got into one. We've managed to sink a transport and an escort uh, on the Danzig to San Jose route. We've won the Battle of Brodnica. Where was that? Brodnica. Okay, so let's uh, stop the clock. Hold on a second. And we're going to... We're going to exploit that. We're not. But this guy... is going to exploit that. Okay, up here... Uh, we can move this guy. Uh, no, we cannot. Actually. And this guy down here... Can't really exploit that yet either. Well, I got armor exploiting it, so stab in the back. All right, so the war is underway in Poland here, and not much is happening elsewhere. Broken bank. We've managed to sink a transport. Ethiopia is mobilizing. Uh, hostile aircraft are performing a CAG duty in Broken Bank. Where is the Broken Bank? 
Where is Broken Bank? Oh, here it is. Okay, stop that for a second. We just sank three transports. I don't have anything in Broken Bank. I don't get it. Luxembourg is mobilizing. I wonder if they're possibly panicking in Luxembourg right about now. So can I port strike over here? No. So that's probably right here, huh? Yeah. So one fighter is attacking a bunch of submarines. So we're getting our ass kicked out off of here. This guy's skill three, this guy's skill two. Now the bombing we're doing much better at. One of the things I'm going to do with this particular playthrough of Hearts of Iron 3 is to pay a little more attention to naval stuff. Uh, okay. Battle of Chelmn... Chelmno. Okay. So we're pushing big time here now. And this is uh, Seki Tessin. We're winning that. We're winning basically everything. Not this one. In this one, we're getting our ass handed to us. On the other hand, that's a huge fucking stacking penalty. So... There's that. And that's this this one right here. Alright, so we're moving in on Poland here. But we also have to... What's wrong with this guy? He's uh, low on supply. All the land battles are going fairly well. Uh, and we've got some exploitation that's going to start fairly soon. No, we want to... God damn it. We actually want to go there. So that's looking good, too. We have won the Battle of Opalacina. We've won the Skagarak. They lost what looks like light cruisers or something. That's like the Polish Navy. We've won the Battle of Danzig. Oh, this infantry division is engaging our it looks like our medium panzer division. That's probably not incredibly bright of them. Okay, these are you guys are going to arrive on 6 August, so two days. There's already an infantry division there. Oops, stop that. We have lost... Holy shit, they sank the entire fucking submarine fleet. Let's uh, peel them back to what do we got here? Emden, Wilhelmshaven. Uh, 
Uh, can I even do that right now? I believe they are retreating, so no, I really can't. That was awkward. Okay, so this is a destroyer flotilla. This is a destroyer flotilla. This is a destroyer flotilla. Okay. So the naval war is not going all that well right now. These tactical bombers are doing ground attacks. These battles are going slowly, but they are apt to. So that's really kind of okay. Let's move this guy here, since I can, and there's no reason not to. And I might even be able to slip in and take... Let's look at the victory point map mode, actually. So, Grodno here is a uh, victory point. Uh, I wonder if I can just, like, slip into that really quick. Alright, uh, this is uh, Gruzidaz. Where were we attacking up here? Let's go back to political. Oh, we took it. Okay, so these guys are between attacks. Uh, 33 hours, so we're going to wait on that. Uh, we're going to push this guy here. We're going to push this here. We'll push this here as well. And we'll push this here. And since we're doing that... Where's this guy going? And when the hell is he going to arrive? 5th August. Okay, we'll wait on that. We won that battle. safe in that particular province. I'll be safe in this particular province if I take it, and I'm probably going to. Move that there, move that there. The guy's moving in here. We're going to win this. We have no serious attacks going on down here, but we do have this land battle in Vesenberg, which is going really kind of shittily, but... Hmm... It's red, uh, but we're in the green up here. Let's, let's look at this guy, actually. So, oh boy. Uh, they've got skill 2, we've got skill 3, and we've got a fortress buster. This attack is going to go badly, so I'm going to actually cancel it. And we're going to take this tactical bomber, and we're still going to hit this province, actually, a day for a month. Uh, we'll go here, actually. We'll go here. And that's fine. Keep the clock moving. I think, I think we can go speed three here. We want another, some more battles in Poland. Things are not going well for the Poles. We've been at war for five days and they've lost a large chunk of Poland. Uh, Polish corridor happened to us. We took Danzig. Okay, so w if we look now, actually, at um, Poland, we can see that they are 25.4% toward their surrender. So, 
We just took Danzig, which is a really important city for them. Uh, we have units available to be deployed. Infantry, that'd be helpful right about now. Um, but these guys are going to come out not in great shape. So if we look at them here, we're going to see that their, uh, their organization is zero. So they need they need time to sit and regain reorganization. So we're we're perfectly content to let them sit. And let's see if we can attach uh, see if we can attach them to somebody useful though. Yeah, that works. Okay. All right. So what are we doing here? We've got that going on. We've got an encirclement happening here. Get rid of the HQ and push. Make sure they don't get out. Got these guys moving in. It's like ah, the Polish army is collapsing so fast that uh, there's almost nothing I can do here. These battles are all going extraordinarily well. Which they should be, to be fair. Okay, so from here we attack this. And from there, everybody else is in need of organization. Leave that there for now. So if I can take... What do we got? Let's look at the victory point map mode again. Lodz and Warsaw are the big ones here. Um, did this guy actually move? When will he arrive? Slow-ass cavalry. 6 August. So actually any time. We won that. We won that. We won that. We're going to move that there. And we'll move that there. And we'll see if we can just roll into Grodno. That would be great if we could. Go back to political. This is the best view to fight in, I think. So we'll put this guy here, and we'll start rolling the armor this way. Let's see if we can cut these guys off. And we need... Really need some more. What do we got here? These heavy panzers that should have been moved up. These guys aren't moving, but that is okay. These guys also aren't moving, but that is okay. Uh, this unit can move up here, however. That looks good. Okay, we've got more research possible. And look at that. Wow. Okay, so looking at this... Lower that, because we don't need it. But we do need to keep an eye on these numbers. We still got 240 out of 262. That's a lot. Uh, more research possible. We have 23 available. What's our officer number look like? We'll just tack that down. Start the clock again. Now, technically, I probably ought to wait to close this pocket, but I don't want to wait. Alright, so where's this Panzer unit going? These guys are retreating. These guys cannot attack for another 98 hours. It's not a good ratio. This unit's going here, which is fine, on 13 August, so it's going to be a few days before they get there. So the Polish are kind of collapsing here. We don't have... Partially because I fucked this up. Uh, we don't really... More research possible. Our leadership keeps going up.
let's look at uh, where was this? Was this the new unit? It was. Their organization is now four out of fifty-eight, so it's still really low. It's only been like two days, so Johannesburg. Hostile aircraft are performing strategic bombing in Leipzig. How are they even getting fucking through, is my question. Looking at uh, intelligence, let's take a look at Poland. And... This doesn't really tell me anything intelligent. Oh, and the Slovaks are rolling into southern Poland, too. Did we win this battle? We totally did win that battle. We'll move up with these guys. That's fine. This guy's moving up. This guy is sitting still at the moment, but he needs to, based on where he's at. This is where he's supposed to be. Uh, Ostero. Let's see. You can attack with that, that, and that. And that looks good. And HQ has just attacked a Panzer Division. Go back to VP map mode. You know, I don't have... Let's pull this intercept. Let's go back to air map mode. Okay, wait a second here. I see being wasted in reinforcements. So we're going to constantly have to prioritize that. We could automate it. Where's this guy? Um, okay, we need to cancel this mission. And we need to cancel this mission. In this mission, and we're going to send um, one of these air wings back over here to rebase there, and then we're going to do air superiority on the province level here, 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 here. Alright, that should give us some additional coverage. Alright, so this pocket is collapsing right here. Uh, there's about to be another pocket. back to VP map mode. I, I should just try and remember where these are, really. Um, this up here in Grodno, this is Warsaw, which they always actually defend fairly well. Um, these guys all moving. No, they are not. That guy's still coming down. Let's see if I can hop into Krakow. So 
move that up. Is this guy next to Grodno yet? And he is, in fact, going to walk right in, which is great. So this goes to same 25-something. Okay, that's moving. That's moving. This is moving, but this unit... What's the speed on this guy? Um, I really kind of want to cut up here to cut this off. Keep that there. Let's move. We've won the Battle of Lodz. Ah, that was an air battle. Okay, we can move uh, this guy up to here. I can go here, actually. We've got engineers here. We do have engineers here. So this is looking pretty good. And they're going to bail out of there. And that means we're going to cut off another big chunk of the Polish army up here. Whoever's up here. An HQ and some infantry. That's going where I want it to. That's going where I want it to. Uh, this can get attack right here. No, we don't actually want to do that. We want to take this unit and do that with it. And nothing's happening serious around here other than uh, annoying British flights. And uh, I believe we've been attacked. Uh, okay, good luck with that. One got one man was killed. He will be missed. And he's going to arrive on the 10th, which is tomorrow. Uh, Brestatovsk, is that a victory point? It is not. Canada has joined the Allies. So if I have to encircle Warsaw and pound it for... I mean, we've only been fighting for nine days. So, uh, we need to move this guy up here. And this whole stack up here. To cut off avenues of retreat. And that can move down. And this guy can just attack. Actually, we can just attack with that too. These guys can't attack for another 36 hours. These guys are already attacking and or moving. There's some Panzers in there. It's a bit messy. Uh, we're waiting another 26 hours on that attack. This attack's going well. Okay, what's going on down here? These guys are both moving in. They're moving... If we won the Battle of Warsaw. Move those guys in. These guys are moving up here. We can move this HQ up.
Uh, and these guys are getting annihilated. Cancel. We won that. That's great. We're out of line of communication with this HQ, so we actually want to fix that. We're going to do a fairly massive reorganization before we fight in France. Let's take a look at intelligence just to verify that French national unity is, is I mean, a fantastically low. More research is possible. Keep that there. I want to keep this number up. We're wasting on reinforcements. One in Laskovich. These guys uh, could probably be moved up one hex or so. Uh, this guy can be moved up. This guy is a miss. All right, are these guys doing anything? No, <laughs> that's a problem. that unit there. They can't attack right now, but they can move to cut guys off. And we're down at 50% to surrender progress. This is loads, which would have been nice if we could have kept these guys out of here, but uh, the fact is, let's get an infantry unit in there. You don't really want to roll tanks into the city. It, it doesn't work very well. Okay, we got another pocket here. Netherlands is mobilizing. They're a little bit late to the party. No order for him. We'll attack right there. Uh, this is in Velen, which is about to... Laskovich. Where's Laskovich? It's right here. How are we losing this? Are we losing this? What's going on here? They've got two HQs attacking a medium panzer division, or, well, it's actually a light panzer division. That doesn't make any sense at all. I don't know what this is about. Oh, well, <laughs> it's not about anything anymore. So there, there's that. All right, so we're moving, we're moving, we're moving. So we took that. So we're shooting at this point for Warsaw, which we just took. Hold on a second. Uh, they're going to surrender at any second. We just rolled a Panzer uh, division into Warsaw. They are at surrender progress nil. So at this point, I am looking to march that into there. And there, looking at VPs, they're going to surrender. Okay, we have annexed Poland, and that was that. Look at the political map mode. Okay, so we're going to have a massive amount of reorganization to do. We're going to have to garrison the east front, and then we're going to have to send some forces back west. Um, I did want to get the Battle for Poland done in the context of this episode, so that I, I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, it didn't go incredibly smoothly, but we conquered Poland in 12 days, which is faster than it happened historically, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with the result. Um, hopefully France will go even better. Uh, first, we have other stuff that we need to do, so we'll talk about uh, what the future plans are in the next episode. Thanks for watching this one, and I will see you next time.